for this elimination challenge, we want you to look to your own heritage and make a dish that's reflective of that, but using Chinese ingredients. Tomorrow, you'll be serving a table of eight right there at Cafe 360 in the Macau Tower. Wow. Hey, chefs, how's it going? Hey, chef, how are you? All right. Hey, Sarah, what are, what are you making? Matzo basu. You found matzo here? We found unleavened bread. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a really nice umami broth. My mother found a bunch of like stuff. She was like, oh, can we get this? It looks really cool. I'm going to put some Chinese garlic chives, and I'm going to poach them in a piri piri broth. Oh, OK. Cool. I know you've probably had a lot of matzo balls. My wife is Jewish, and I make matzo ball soup every Passover. So yeah. Never made matzo ball soup without matzo, so. Yeah. Good luck with that. Figure it out. <laughs> Kelsey. Hi, chefs. How so, are y'all? What was that that you just like threw in there? This is like dehydrated vegetables. And so I'm doing a low country boil. Macau is an island, and being next to the ocean reminds me of home. I never thought that I was going to travel across the world and feel a piece of home with me. And so bridging Macau and my background came naturally. And so I just went through my list of what I would do and then replaced it with Chinese products. You're really harnessing Macau. Well, good luck. Thank y'all. Awesome. I appreciate it. Hi, Jeff. When you had celebrations around the holidays, what were you celebrating with? Mostly Mexican food, and then okay. Sundays we'd do like a, a big dinner with the Italian side. And so I want to catch all those flavors and play on the Chiapino aspect, oh, okay. just right. because I saw so much beautiful seafood. Nice. <laughs> I like this. And what Chinese ingredients or techniques are you bringing into your dish? Um, well, I found lots of beautiful fish, bok choy, baby corn, and aromatics. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Good luck. Thank you, Chef. Yeah. Hey, Eric. Hey, chef, how's, how's it going? going? Not too bad. So I'm doing a goosey stew. It's a traditional spinach stew. Straight vegetarian. Uh, no. I'm going to be poaching shrimp, and now so I'm going to do like a, almost like a Cornell of um, shrimp and selves. Like a fish ball? Like exactly, shrimp. yeah, a Got fish it. ball. Yep. yep. Right. So your sister just showed up, and she just happened to be here. Huh? It was a shock. I went upstairs, and I was like, this woman looks exactly like my sister. And I kind of <laughs> realized after a while that it was actually her. So it was pretty fun. All right, good luck. Take care. Good luck. Yeah. yeah. All right, chefs, good luck. Good luck. Have fun. See you later. Oh, they're still alive! The most interesting thing about this dish is the broth. I'm incorporating ingredients I've never seen before. It's a lot of sniffing and chewing and looking for things that are going to make this taste delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be spicy, though. 30 minutes, Michelle. Thanks, hey, Sarah. There's yours! The matzo balls. They just keep growing and growing and growing. Maybe this is my mom's soda water trick. Kelsey, should I cut these in half? No. Fine. Hi. Hello. Hello. I want to welcome Michelle's mom. Michelle has been doing quite well. I think she won the last two quick fires. All right. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dan. Hi, Michelle. Hello, everyone. I wanted to capture the flavors of Chiapino, and I wanted to be able to bring my Italian and Mexican heritage into the dish. Well, you may have noticed there's an empty seat here. We'd like you to join us. Thank you. <laughs> Do you like some wine? Yes, yes please. <laughs> it's kind of unbelievable. I never thought I would be sitting next to Padma having dinner. <laughs> Coming out here, why did you choose not to make a broth? It's usually cheap, you know, it's much more brothy than this. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going for a broth when I think of cheap, you know, I think of that rich stew that really melts together. Mm -hmm. So I know you don't usually get the time to sit down and eat your fully composed dish. What is the experience like? Are you happy with it? Critique your dish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it needs acid. Everything is so rich. It needs some brightness. Yeah, it needs to brighten it up. So drink some more wine and get some acid in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rosemary, does this taste familiar to you? Do you taste some stuff? Maybe? I haven't tasted this one before. Mm -hmm. I like it. The octopus was cooked just right, too. Thank you. <laughs> I want to thank you both for joining us. Sorry to cut it short, but we've got other dishes <laughs> yeah. to try. Well, thank you. Bye. Thank you for Take joining care. us. Michelle was maybe being too hard on herself. I think mm -hmm. her dish had some really strong elements. Mm -hmm. The challenge was to take your heritage and then take Chinese and infuse it. I didn't get that. I agree. The ingredients, yes, it's a very, very good dish. But I don't get the Chinese flavor here at all. How are you doing? How are you oh, feeling? I don't know. Disappointed. Why? My dish didn't look pretty. I thought it was pretty, and it tasted delicious. The flavors were terrific. I do think, you know, beans are, are risky for our chefs. She did a great job with that. I would have preferred a broth. Yeah. I agree. I'm OK without the broth, although you're expecting one with chipino. The seafood is all nicely done, beautifully cooked. But at this point, let's see the challenge. There's a lot to do with it. I mean, this is tough. 
Hi, Sarah. Hello. So um, I made for you chicken thighs with matzo balls and a savory mushroom consomme. Why don't you sit down? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, girl. You're going to eat right. this soup with all of us. All right. I poached the matzo balls in a piri piri. Then I also have a little bird's eye chili in there, too. And my mom told me a trick that I never knew before, which was to put a little soda water in soda them. Soda water, of course. I didn't know that. The matzo balls are delicious. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mom. Not, not really hard awesome. in the middle at all. No. They are not no, hard really? at all. What do you think your soup is? I think you guys should probably just say, like, Sarah, it's so good. You won. Touch that. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, Sarah. Thank you, Thank so, much. you so much. I was a fan. I am a huge fan. Yeah, I like this spot. It's spicy, but it's a nice warm spice. I think she nailed this. It have the spice of the chili. You have the sweetness of the fruit. It's really, really nice combination. For every Jew who has ever been to Chinese food on, on Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> this is all things coming together in a perfect bowl. How seasoning. I love that Didn't it has salt and acid. No. It was actually perfect. Yeah. I think that you should start making it for Passover every year. That same recipe. All right, thank you. I'm putting this plate in front of my sister, and I want to make her proud. Eric started making breakfast eggs, burning them sometimes, okay. but he's gotten better at it. <laughs> I'm serving a dish that I've never made in this way before, so I'm just hoping that the judges understand the direction I was trying to go to with this dish. Today, we're eating a goosey stew with fufu dumpling that's panko fried and a variations of shrimp. There's a seat right next to me for you. Is that so really? Please join us. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. All right. It smells good. Right, it looks amazing. Were you worried about cooking fufu a second time? No, not really. I wanted to, to be able to showcase it just a little bit different. To kind of use these um, macanese uh, ingredients was really fun. I think the dish came out really well. I'm happy with the pumpkin seeds and that texture. It's really good. Thank you. We are very proud. I know you have Africa on your back. I know that. But don't feel the weight. We already put us on the map. I appreciate so it. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I love you, too. Don't cry. Don't All right. Cry. Go have your love for that. Yeah. 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 Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye. Take care, guys. Bye. Take care. I love Eric's food. I really enjoyed that sweet and sour element on his canal. The balls, the shrimp balls were salty. Barring the salt, I drank some wine. I was OK with the salt. But what, there was a textural element that was really difficult. The pumpkin seed. I, it was I the think, outside of yeah, the seed? Yes. The I think house? what he actually used was winter melon seeds. The melon is smashed. an Asian ingredient. But it's still not pleasant no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <sighs> it's over. <laughs> you leave it? I'm you relieved. Did great. Thank you. I love the taste. It did was, you? It, I loved it. It Thank was you. amazing. I'm just hoping that the judges yeah. think the same. It's kind of dripping. I'm doing a table side pour because I want the judges to immediately think of a low country boil when they see the plate. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks so good. They'll get the flavors of the broth that's being poured. Kelsey, what did you make for us? I made a low country boil featuring shrimp. I'd like you to join us for this meal. Oh my gosh. Sit down. Okay. Right here. This is bizarre. <laughs> it's extremely stressful to sit with the judges eating, because I'm just like, was that a face? Was that a bad face? Like, everything they do, I'm like. How did you make that broth you just tasted? A ton of dried mushrooms and dried oysters, dried scallops, dried shrimp. There's literally probably 37 things in the broth. I am overwhelmed. I think it's delicious. Thank you. Okay. Cheers mm. to you, honey. Thank beautiful. you so much. And I thank you all for everything this whole season. And it's been the most amazing journey. And I appreciate it. Well, hopefully it's not over yet. Very much, hopefully. <laughs> not ready to be done. All right, well, we've got to talk amongst ourselves. Yeah, thank you so much. I like that she utilized the dried scallops, the smoked oysters, the dried mushrooms. My favorite parts of it, honestly, were the little bits of Chinese celery that were bright and fresh. It's well spiced and, and well seasoned, and so I, I think she captured that here. Mm -hmm. But the flavors are, are I think, very uh, Asian. local. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, this is this yeah. is delicious. I actually think it is a little too strong to have a whole bowl of it. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. The green onion is very strong. It's too forward. Too it's strong. not in balance. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That broth, I could have literally really? sopped it up. I liked it that much. Really? I liked that it was strong. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't have something home for it. You just don't know. We're down to the nitty gritty.